And now at five, campus threat. Police swarm Cosumnes River College searching for a suspect who threatened violence. Thanks for joining us here at five. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Elizabeth Kling. The college in South Sacramento near Highway 99 was put on lockdown for nearly two hours before police cleared the campus. CBS 13's Andrew Hobner is there live now with the tense few hours for students and staff. Andrew. Good evening, guys. Yes, this campus was put on lockdown due to a threat of violence made against the community by a student. First responders came onto the campus, found no weapon or any evidence of a weapon, and then lifted that lockdown. But for the hour of that lockdown, that threat felt very real for its students, some of whom see events like these as an unfortunate inevitability. Jordan Tagatech was on her way to an appointment. All of a sudden, I saw like one police driving through campus. Carlos Arroyo was drawing in class when his phone lit up. I heard about it before everything was spread out. My friends said they heard from someone that something was going down. And then I told my stats teacher. From there, a mix of action. We kind of just uh, barricaded the doors and barricaded the windows. Of worry. I was scared for my life due to the fact that I was like praying to God, hopefully everyone's safe. And strategy. I was looking for all the exits. I was actually planning everything. I, it sounds really sad. Sad, but that's the reality. And I was like holding my hydro flask. This is my, my only weapon. Elsewhere on campus, response. Well, someone sent me a picture of the cafeteria. They were like boarding that, that thing up with like uh, desks, the desks in there. Really? So I was like, oh, this is serious. From a generation that sadly is trained to think of such things. It seemed instinctive for the students to do that. I don't think really? there's really any like teachers in there. Until the all clear. We didn't find any evidence of the threat being a valid threat, meaning that there wasn't any imminent threat to campus. But we take these things very seriously. We don't mess around when it comes to a potential threat to our campus community. Students headed home. Home, thankful. I think they did handle it pretty well because, um, you know, they gave us the notifications and then they told us when it was all clear and also they kind of kept us updated throughout the text. While police investigate and campus officials think how to help students going forward. Our primary concern is always about student and employee safety and uh, we'll always do whatever we need to to keep our community safe. Campus officials tell us that there is an ongoing investigation into the threat as well as the suspects, but I'll be quite candid uh, with you guys. I'm, I'm 28 years old. I went through my first lockdown drill when I first entered high school, and to hear these kids talk with such a resignation that it just might be the day that it happens that they're in class and a lockdown occurs and they see it as an active ongoing threat is pretty shocking, especially for a generation of kids that grew up on lockdown drills dating back to their elementary school days. And with Colorado Springs happening this past weekend and a school shooting happening at really any given time across this country, campus spokesman Gabe Ross told us they offer counseling services to their kids, even if this was just a threat, they want to make sure that they're safe and that that they're taking everything seriously because they don't want their kids to have that feeling of resignation or inevitability anytime they step on campus here. Yeah.